Good morning, good morning. It is Saturday. It is cold. It got down to 34 last night. Jeez. Got a few more stories written. And they're not really stories. They're just like little snippets. Storyboards for the words. That's what they are. <clears throat> This is the one for we, the one we did yesterday because it was just fresh in my mind. But it needs a little bit of decoration here. So I'm just going to stick it in there. This is the statue, which needs a little bit of help too. So I'll read them to you just a sec. Today I'm going to really focus after I get off camera on the rest of the stories because I theoretically I might go back to the beach on Monday tomorrow for you I don't know maybe so I need to have all this printing part done because the printer there is terrible inside the treasure box covered in seaweed was a statue an eight inch pedestal with an object on top careful cleaning revealed a sloth And then the jewels, the sand around some of, oh, I already found a mistake. <laughs> the sand around some of the objects was lumpy. After further digging, Sarah found shiny faceted jewels. The stones had been polished and cut. How and when? So... That's as far as we've gotten. But let me make a note on which ones I need to do still. Um, the blooms. I don't know how to spell the blooms. Slash pirates. The chest that she found. That's a chapter page, right? Yeah, section three. Dr. Nope, which he will be easy because he's the competitor that is digging through artifacts looking for magical herbs that will help his medicine. An injury was an obstacle. A work stoppage or holiday, like Monday is for us. Uh, war. Illness. Goodness, I have a lot more to do than I thought. Tide changes. Robbers. Curses. Lord have mercy. I thought I did more than this. Bugs. These were all obstacles that could get in the way. The weather. That was the first one. Then a note, a section out of Sarah's journal. And how she keeps her notes. How to. Okay. Uh, how she set up her tent. On the beach. A map. And the message. Got a lot to do. Okay, that gets that organized. Today is
magic bottle. Tiny bottles. Let's just put tiny bottles. She doesn't know what's inside of them and she doesn't know they're magic. What is to what is today? I don't know. It is the 18th, so this is the 19th. Seven, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Okay, I still am on target for the end of the month. This is where I was writing. Roxanne by Bun gave me this idea, and she's done the whole series like this. April art challenges mostly when she does it. She kind of like plans out a map for herself. Oh dear. oh dear, I got green paint on my sloth. That's okay. It looks lived in. All right, what did I say? Tiny magical bottles. Let's just use one of these. We haven't done these in a while. We have two sitting here. Yeah, it's cold this morning. We have people next door that were partying until after midnight. I don't know what they were doing, but I told my husband, I said, you have my permission to turn the blower on right under their window. <laughs> Even he heard them and he has, you know, hearing aids that are taken out at night. So, all right, we can put this one down that there is a mistake in it. We may have to pull it back up. All right. What are we going to do here? Tiny bottles. Where's the coffee one? I wonder if there's like little tiny bottles in here. Got too much junk right in front of me. a vase, fruit, candles, coffee, or hot chocolate, I guess. It's got marshmallows in it. A leaf, a cat, coffee, glasses, basket, shop, croissants, cable car, coffee, Hands, coffee, person, coffee, French press, which this is the brown one. Somebody's hands at a computer. Oh, you know what? I have these old magazines. Here's October, 1951. Let's see if we can find some bottles in here. Toothpaste. Oh, they stink. They smell musty. Here's a great lighter. Oh, these are great. <gasps> I don't even know if they're showing up on camera. Hold on, let me cut them out and I'll show you. Raquel Welch died, and um, another actress, what was her name? Stevens, Stella Stevens, famous actor, actress from these times. And her son was an actor. I don't know if he's still alive. We could use these as our bottles. Even though they're lighters, we're going to pretend they're like fancy bottles, okay? Okay. How did this person riding a bike get on here? I do not know. All right, that might just have to stay here because that's a mystery too. Let's work with this, but include this. 
Do I cut these down? Do I leave them in a strip? Do I cut them in two, four, six sections of twos? I don't know. I remember my grandmother having a fancy lighter like this sitting on her coffee table for guests and stuff. They were pretty in silver. Press, it's lit, release, it's out. We might keep that wording. There's that wording, okay. We can throw this away. But how do I, should? how should I do this? Maybe in groups of two? One. Two. And add like a really I already have ghost paper on the other side from the clam shells or the mussel shells or the oyster shells, oyster shells. I wonder if I could. Maybe decorate a piece of deli paper and that way the um, words still show through. Or Cut the deli paper up. Might be more inclined to do that. And I don't think I want to put Mod Podge on it because if I do that, the deli paper disappears. And I really kind of want a ghosty effect. Or I could put a ghosty effect underneath. That one really doesn't have a lot of mess on it. Um, do I have any more ghost paper? Painted deli paper. Surely I do. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a palm tree. We might use that. to these. Um, Just going through a stash of old stuff to try to use things up. And we don't want it to look planned, so let's just, let's do it on a jelly plate. buff
blush in Mars Brown. I thought Mars was red. Okay, let's see what happens here. Ooh. I want the ghost print on the wax paper. So I'm just going to do that. Ooh, that's pretty. And then just kind of make a blop. Make a blop. the trick oh lord have mercy i thought i just cleaned my desk okay let's cut these out i know they're not dry really There's a little bit of gold on my deli plate, so that's coming up. Not deli plate, plate, jelly plate. This is deli paper. That's confusing for my pea brain. And I'm okay with the like fluorescent green and yellow showing up a little bit. And there's paint on here already, just little tiny bits, which is okay too. Okay, let's see what happens here. I can live with that. Oh, I have dog hair on my glue stick. Gee. Actually, once you glue it down, it also disappears, the deli paper. Which normally is a good thing, but in this instance... Well, it's adding a little bit of fog because um, over the words on the book page, which is fine. Wish us luck. Our granddaughter's coming here today to spend the night. She just got over COVID. My husband thinks she had a false positive. That's just his way of telling me, oh, everything's gonna be okay. I do think she's out of the danger zone, but it's too close for us, for my comfort zone, and we're, I'm traveling. It's floating here again with the kids. I'm mean, even in tiny Hampton County, which there's tons of people coming in. Normally they probably wouldn't have had a problem. Okay. I'm just nervous about her being here. And the kids don't protect themselves. They're always hugging and especially these two little girls are always hugging and cutting up with each other that's southern for teasing each other and playing tricks on each other and hopefully they're going to stay outside it's supposed to warm up just 
a little out of my comfort zone. But my husband rules this house along with the dog and his granddaughter. <laughs> I'm sure if I said, I already told him no, but that didn't work. Okay, now where's our stuff? He said, I just don't feel comfortable telling her no. I'm like, well, that's why we never had children. One of the reasons. <laughs> okay. Of our own. We were too old to start a new Okay, not fair to his kids. I think I might go around this in like a salmon-y marker. Oh, I've got that word too. They're pretty even. Oh, I like this. Now, salmon -y type marker. Ooh, smells musty though. Oh, wait a minute. Where am I going to put this? Press, it's lit. Release, it's out. I might just like put that right here. doing this very sparingly and very lightly and it's not really showing up a lot on the deli paper which is fine no well, sort of it does phew now it smells like buried treasure Woo! I have to leave this page out for a little bit I love this but should I you know what I think I'm going to go around the frame here. You really can't see it, which is fine. And everywhere. Oh, I like that. Like snippets of deli paper. Doesn't exactly match that side, but that's okay. Doesn't have to. Oh, I like that. So now what is this? Mystery bottles. Let's just call them mystery bottles. So I need to add that to the list too, don't I?
mystery bottles. Okay, now we're coming into section four. Which is museum, museum life. I'm assuming she's dug up everything and had it transported to a museum. So, I've had this for years. Let's put it on one of our chapter changes. Or maybe on the inside. Who knew when I painted this years ago, years, when I first got jelly paper, which was six or so years ago. Oh, look how pretty that is. There's a bunch of different colors in there. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't want to lose that. Let's see where I can put this. I don't want this to show though. If we put two pieces down, that's good. Okay. I remember this brochure was from the trade show my husband was involved with at the beach. The last time we were there, I think it was the last time in January. So you just never know. Where stuff is going to show up. Okay. I come across this thing every once in a while. And here we go. Now it has a home. And I have some blue deli paper to play with. Ooh. Here. <clears throat> Put these two pieces of paint away. Oh, I do like this right in there. So now I need to get going on the stories, don't I? I'm glad I didn't add black, Carty. Although there could be little tiny black dots in between there. Just saying. Uh, whew, now it smells like old treasure. Phew. Musty. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Possibly back at the beach for you. For you. Which means I need to get my stuff packed, don't I? Yes, I do. I always have an ongoing bag ready to go. And my art supplies that I take back and forth, I kind of have ready to go. Oh, 
Oh, I've got to get some stuff out of my car still. I'm just talking. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Bye.